Imagine not being able to read the paper because your hands were shaking. Imagine not being able to read newsprint as your world faded to black. The National Federation of the Blind, Newsline Indiana, monthly report. With your host, Lee Martin, and co-host, Florence Myers McSwine. Welcome, everyone, to our new show. It's called the National Federation of the Blind, NFB Indiana Newsline. Yes, it is a mouthful, but it is full of information and full of inspiration. And today, we just have a fantastic show that um, we're proud to present uh, as we are blind citizens. And I, myself, as host, uh, Lee Martin, I am t totally blind lost my sight 17 years ago. And it has been a true experience and a path that's been laid for me by a higher power, which I continue to humbly follow. And it is my blessing to be here today with a guest uh, that we'll be talking about. And we wanna share with you a new service, a service that, the, that is sponsored by the National Federation of the Blind it's called NFB Newsline for the blind, visually impaired, and those that have reading challenges. It is a great program that is free, and it is uh, sponsored by our state talking book and braille library, as well as our state legislature. This is a very essential program. We still believe that reading is fundamental, and we, have the answer for those individuals that are print challenged. If once you lose your sight, you can't read the print. We believe that Braille is the, the essential tool, but we also believe that uh, NFB Newsline, uh, as we'll talk about here um, a little after we come from break, where individuals can access newspapers, magazines, uh, world newspapers, and We'll be coming right back on the show here shortly after our break. And our, we'll be back with our guest, and my, as a guest. And we'll be back with um, Mr. Darnell Booker and co-host Florence McSwine. And our um, volunteer guest, Miss um, Melanie Taylor. Miss Melanie Taylor. So we'll be right back in a few minutes. So stick with us after the commercial break. Thousands of Indiana residents feel isolated from the world due to vision problems. Thanks to the National Federation of the Blind, visually impaired Hoosiers can hear newspapers, circulars, and magazines from across the globe. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm blind. I read Stars and Stripes on NFB Newsline. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. Subscribe free to NFB Newsline. If you or someone you know is visually impaired or print challenged, the National Federation of the Blind has a resource you need. I use NFB Newsline when reading Hammond Northwest Times. Using NFB Newsline, I read the Christian Science Magazine. Dad, you read Jerusalem Post too. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. It's free. Welcome back to the National Federation of the Blind, uh, News 9 Indiana Monthly Report. And today, I want to talk a little bit about um, the service sponsored by the National Federation of the Blind. It's called NFB Newsline. And today, our guest, uh, Mr. Darnell Booker, he's a subscriber and as well as a professional uh, in the city, and he uses the service. And Darnell, I just want to welcome you to the show today. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming. And um, 
We appreciate you and uh, Melanie taking the time to come out. Now, the service for the National Federation of the Blind Newsline, um, it, it, it has over 400 newspaper publications and um, have over 61 <clears throat> magazines. Mm -hmm. um, what do you find to be essential about the NFB Newsline to you? What I find essential about that is I am a sports guy, so seeing that I can have access to all the sporting magazines that Newsline has to offer, it helps me quite a bit to catch up on the, on the, on the sports of the day, whether it be local, national, or international. I really love that about Newsline, where I can just get right to the Newsline and just, just pick, a, pick a particular newspaper that I want to see what's going on in the world of sports. Well, in the world of sports, and by you being a sports guy, um, is one of them donkey riding? You, have you read anything about donkey riding or anything, you know, on Newsline? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing with you. <laughs> but um, so when you read the sports, um, you know, as you stated, um, you know, what, what sports is your favorite? Which one is your uh, favorite? I'm passionate about a lot of sports. But my favorite, I would have to say, is, um, is basketball. Um, I'm a college and pro guy, um, follow a lot of teams, and um, see, that's, that's, my, that's the one I really follow the most is, is basketball, just I can get the stats, the scores, and updates on if I'm busy working or what have you, um, just following, you know, particular teams that, uh, that I like to keep an eye on. This very important with the um, service of NFB Newsline, uh, simply because um, we have different uh, sections, um, and you can, um, you know, <clears throat> create your own uh, newspapers and create your own sections of the newspapers. And just by you following sports, <clears throat> like myself, I'll put in my favorite teams or my favorite cities, and I'll follow those teams uh, in each city. I'll follow their stats. I'll follow what uh, they're writing about those particular teams in their particular uh, cities and states. And I'm a fair weather fan. And if they're losing, I don't, just don't go to the state. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm through and through. That's what I do. I, I like the, the way that I can just pick and choose and what teams I can follow. And But I, I stay with my teams through thick and thin. So I'm not whether yeah, you're they're, better than me, cause whether they're doing the, the happy, curve. mad, or sad. I stick with them. I've picked all my teams since I was a teenager, since 1981. So there's loyalty to all my teams. I don't care if they're 2 and 14, like the 49ers are, or, or whatever. <laughs> I, I just I stick with them through and through. Well, that's good for you. But um, also, um, you know, how long have you been coping with vision impairment? Um, ever since I was like 14, I, in my right eye, I have no vision. Uh, it's just a total accident. Uh, I lost my sight with, by being shot in the right eye with a BB gun with my, on my right eye. So, and I, it, was, it was hard to adapt to that, but I adapted to that after that incident. Uh, total accident, I have vision in my left eye, but my, it, was, it, it took some time to adapt with no vision in the right eye, but I seem to have adapted pretty well. Yeah, I, you know, I do admire um, your fortitude uh, with uh, the things that you do. And I know that we'll be talking about that here a little bit later on in our next se Hot Topic segment. But I um, also um, want to see just, you know, you talk about how it um, works in your professional uh, life and your, your, your daily life. Uh, what would be your recommendation for um, blind, vision impaired, or print challenge individuals um, that need a service like this? How would you, what would you say to them? I would say to them, just get all your resources. Go out there and see and, and get information. Go to the National Federation of the Blind. Seek all the resources you can get and then come. That's how I stumbled upon Newsline by looking at all my avenues and all my sources. How can I get the news better? And that's when that get involved with, with, with your local chapters of the National Federation of the Blind. There's so many resources out there. And by using this particular service um, sponsored by the National Federation of the Blind, NFB Newsline, um, what device do you use to access it? Because there's uh, several devices well, out I there. I use my, uh, my iPhone or I use my iPad. Um, when sometimes when I'm at my desk, I use my uh, laptop, so all three devices. <laughs> and there's other devices out there in the community that, um, that are very accessible for the service. 
Um, Talking Book and Braille Library has the uh, digital reader. Mm -hmm. uh, you can access it on that, and you can also access it on a little device I have here, and it's called the uh, Victor Stream Reader, uh, uh, sponsored by Humanware. It's a great tool to have. There's so many tools, and uh, you can access it on. You can also use your, um, your computer as well as a landline phone. So there's an, a, a merit of um, ways to use the service and um, so that individuals can you know, say, hey, I can be at home, I can use my landline phone, or if I'm in my backyard, or if I'm right. around the corner or around the world, I still can access hey, uh, the National Federation of the Blind Newsline service. Exactly. And um, there's also magazines. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in order to be a, uh, into sports, uh, you, I imagine you have to have some uh, real desires for health. Mm -hmm. So, um, and there's health magazines. Uh, Florence, you want to talk about a few of those? Oh, there's various uh, health magazines. Um, and again, I want to um, say welcome to the show. Thank you. And um, there are several. Um, there's, well, I want to just name just a couple of them. Uh, as far as um, health and health magazines. Um, I particularly love one that's called Preventive Magazine. Preventive gives a lot of insight as to healthy daily living. And um, there's another that's uh, WebMD. Uh, it's got a lot of information, not only about resources that are available for health, uh, for active, healthy living, but um, ways basically that um, you can stay healthy, maintain your health through sports and other, other activities as well. Um, as I mentioned, there are several uh, magazines. Uh, Reader's Digest is in there. Um, um, this one probably doesn't interest you, but uh, there's one, uh, All Recipes, and it's very good for healthy eating and healthy living. So those are just a few of them. I don't think you're old enough for AARP, are you? Uh, you're talking to me? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, at, I'm, a, I'm a man of a certain age. I'm at that age, yeah. I'm, I got my got it in the mail, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> but um, but I, I like health, healthy eating because I do cook. I live on my own, so I have to know how to cook. So that would interest me, the recipes and healthy eating. So, But I, I, that would be... That's up my alley as well. I'm versatile. All right. Okay. Wow. So as you guys have heard, there is so much um, that you can uh, acquire uh, just from the service itself. Uh, you know, once you lose your sight, uh, you, you have no access to really print. Uh, we all love Braille, and but to have access to, you know, such a service, um, it, it is one of the greatest tools uh, that we know of. Uh, of its kind for a blind print challenge and um, visually impaired citizens. Uh, so we, we don't take it for granted uh, because uh, once I lost my sight as an avid reader, I um, was wondering just how would I be able to read newspapers? Uh, how would I be able to access the magazines that I like? But I found the National Federation of the Blind and through that I uh, found the service and I haven't looked back, no pun intended. Okay. So um, we will be uh, taking a short pause and we'll be coming back with um, uh, what we call hot topics. And um, Darnell Booker and um, uh, Melanie Taylor. Taylor has um, quite a, a hot topic to share with everyone. Um, it is. Uh, topic that I'm very proud of uh, both of the individuals and uh, their organization and all of those individuals that um, work with the organization. So we'll be right back on um, the National Federation of the Blind um, Newsline Indiana Monthly Report. So see you shortly. If you or someone you know is visually impaired or print challenged, the National Federation of the Blind has a resource you need. I am a CFP practitioner and I happen to be blind. 
I rely on NFB Newsline to keep me current with Wall Street Journal and the Financial Times. Hoosiers can hear Indiana magazines, circulars, national magazines, and information from across the globe. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. As I travel the nation, I read NFB Newsline. I live in Valparaiso, Indiana, and I listen to my local news on NFB Newsline. As a student, I enjoy reading current events on NFB Newsline. Learn more by calling 855-963-6476 or visit nfbnewsline-in.org. Subscribe free to NFB Newsline today. Welcome back, and as I indicated, we will be talking about a very good hot topic today. Today in our studios, we do have um, two of our guests um, that had such a great experience. These individuals work very hard and diligent along with a multitude of other individuals as a team concept. And Recently, they just won their second consecutive back-to-back -back Beat Baseball World Series championship. And I would like to reintroduce um, Mr. Darnell Booker and Ms. Melanie Taylor. And congratulations. Thanks very much. It was a, what an amazing year we had. I mean, uh, it was awesome, but I, I always say to anybody that has a beat baseball team without volunteers, beat baseball would not happen. And also, I'm blessed with a lot of amazing players that play for me, and we have an amazing organization from the top to the bottom. Well, I know that's a great passion of yours, and um, I just want to uh, you know, let the audience know, what is beat baseball? Beat baseball is a sport for blind and visually impaired athletes. Um, it's a little modification of regular baseball. We play our games on soccer fields or on the outfield of baseball diamonds, and there are only two bases, first and third, and they're based 10 feet off the fair line and on foul territory. And the pitcher is on the same team as your batters, and there's you know the and the pitcher is on the same team. So basically. The, when the, the batter shows a target, the pitcher tries to make sure the batter hits it with a cadence. And once the, you know, because everything in beat baseball is by audio, everybody um, that plays beat baseball wears a blindfold, no matter if they're blind or visually impaired, so that makes the playing field level. Um, and they're, like I said, everything is by, instead of using your sight, you use your ears. Everybody wears a blindfold, so um, the, the, the concept is if when the batter hits the ball, there's the other team is playing defense. They have spotters in the field, so the spotters cause a particular zone once the ball is hit to the field. And the concept is if the batter gets to the beeping base, it's a random, either first or third goes off, and the, whatever base is beeping, that's what base the batter has to run to. So if he gets to the beeping base before the fielders track the ball and hold it up, they score a run. Or if the fielders track the ball and hold it up before the batter gets to the base, the runner's out. And there's four strikes in beat baseball, and there's three outs in beat baseball. So that's the, pretty much the, the concept. There's a little, like I said, two different little concepts of regular baseball, but it's an amazing sport, and it's been around for over 40 years. Now, blindfolded. Now, can a sighted person yes, you play can, with you the can blindfold have, on your You can have team? two sighted players on your roster, two fully sighted players on your roster. They would only, and they're, they're good for practice and, 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 and getting under the sleep shade, but the only way they would be used to, to compete is if there's, if there's not enough blind or visually impaired athletes or if there's injury. So that's the, they, they, but they can still be a part of a team. That's just the rules in our, in our game that you can have two fully sighted players on your roster. Okay, and Dornell. Yes. And you mentioned the rules. So there's uh, basic rules that um, the baseball team has. There's, uh, what are the basic rules? The, the basic rules, you can have um, anybody, and you, it's, it's a co-ed, let me say this, go back, it's a co-ed sport, so you can have male and female on your rosters. Okay. And um, 
you like there's three outs and you get four strikes instead of three strikes. Um, there's umpires. Um, we everybody has to wear a blindfold to make the playing field level, and uh, we uh, we always use we have to, to 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 be a part of the game. We always have scorekeepers, base monitors, and and um, so those those are a part of the game as well. And Melanie Taylor, which is who's to my left here, is for her first full year. She's a part of our organization and our and our team. Same thing, but she does also. She just got into scorekeeping this year, so. There's it's a lots of lots of entities in beat baseball. Okay. Now, how many um, teams are in a league? Um, the NBBA has the Nash, which stands for the National Beat Baseball Association, has 35 teams that registered this year, and hopefully their goal is to try to get every every state to have a team. And then we have four international teams, which uh, which is Canada, Taiwan, the Dominican Republic, and Italy. Well, Italy did not come this year, but Dominican Republic, Canada, and Taiwan did come to this year's World Series. So there was four continents on, on, on U.S. soil this year. So you guys um, in the championship game, you played uh, two games against Taiwan? Yes, and they were unbelievable games. I mean, we were facing elimination when we came into Saturday's play against Taiwan. If they would have beat us in the first game, we would have taken second. But our team showed a lot of heart, a lot of grit, a lot of determination. We pulled that out by one run. Then the second game, we, we played very well, and we had to face um, weather delays. And so the psychological part of, of coming on and off the field, it was very challenging, but our team rose to the occasion, and, and we, here we are today as back-to-back -back World Series champs. Well, that takes a whole lot of work. And like you say, Melody, um, you volunteer. And this is your first year volunteering. Uh, what what um, interested you into volunteering? I just like to help where I, I'm needed, and these kids are amazing, and we have them from 12 to 70. I've seen, it's a, it's a big family. Hmm, so the age, age range is from 12 to 70, maybe, mm -hmm. or, you know, is that the age range? Yeah, it's about, you know, ages 12 to about 56, 57 years old on our roster, yeah. I'm 60, okay. yeah, about that, <laughs> pretty close. Okay. And, and then, we, you know, you, we, we got a lot of youth, and we sprinkle that, the veterans, the youth, we have a lot of youth, but also veteran leadership. So the veterans kind of uh, kind of train and, 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 and help, help the youth get better because they've played this sport for a long time, and, and our team is changing the sport of beat baseball since we're getting younger because we always say, uh, Father Times catches up with you, so we uh, we we we've changed the game as as adding a lot of youth to our to our team. And, and that's that's very valuable in our society as well to bring the youth along. Yes. Now, um, uh, do you have a ring? Did you bring your? I ring wore my last year's ring, which is okay. 2016 ring, but okay. we'll be having our ring ceremony in October to get our 2017 ring. Okay. Now, how do you celebrate? Oh, we we're gonna celebrate. I mean, we well, we were, once we won the World Series, it was great. Everybody was on the field. It was just like a normal, how a normal teams celebrate as far as baseball teams, and everybody's hugging each other. And because we start this process in January, okay, when it's in the dead winter, we have an indoor facility, so we start this process in January all the way till the World Series. So those we we put in a lot of work from January on. And it shows, and like I said, we we um, so we celebrate. We we got we got lots of things coming up, where we got um, you know we're going to be recognized by the Indianapolis Indians on the 23rd of this month, and then we're going to um, have our our celebration ring ceremony in October in the Broad Ripple area at the Pawn Shop Pub in Broad Ripple. So it's going to be a beautiful thing. And then you know with this getting exposure uh, to telling about our our accomplishment. So we have lots of lots of things in the fire. Okay. Now, what about sponsors? If anyone is out there listening in the audience that would love to um, contribute or sponsor, they they, they can um, email me. Uh, my information's on the screen, or they can also check out our website, which is a great website. It's thunderbeatball.org. And like I said, I mean, we're always looking for sponsors, and you know, and any uh, and anybody that wants to help us. And um, like I said. Uh, Volunteers are important for our tournament, and like I said, like I said, Melanie does does a great job volunteering with our organization. So, um, we, I think once she saw it a little bit of last year, she got hooked on it. So, you know. All right. 
Well, listeners, um, viewers, there you have it. World champions for the second consecutive year, Indy Thunder Beep Baseball for the blind, visually impaired, and two-sided people per team uh, can be on that uh, squad. So um, we will want you to check out the Indy Thunder uh, dot com is that correct? Thunderbeatball.org. Thunderbeatball.org. Right. There That's we go. our website. <laughs> okay, say that again. Thunderbeatball.org. And you also can check it out on the screen. So we'll be right back with our closing comments for uh, the National Federation of the Blind. The National Federation of the Blind knows that blindness is not the characteristic that defines you or your future. Every day we raise the expectations of blind people because low expectations create obstacles between blind people and our dreams. You can live the life you want. Blindness is not what holds you back. Well, we want to wrap up our show today, and I just want to thank our guests, uh, Darnell Booker and uh, Melanie Taylor, uh, for coming on and graciously and passionately sharing um, your conviction for beat baseball for the blind, visually impaired. It is very essential that the blind community know that these services are out here uh, for them. That's one of the purposes of the show, uh, to let them know about the National Federation of the Blind and the multi, multi multitude of services that are provided by, through the National Federation of the Blind. And NFB Newsline is one of those services. And we want you to, um, if you're sighted and you're seeing this scroll across the screen or if you're hearing uh, the producer uh, talk about uh, the service, please uh, um, share this information that, with someone that may be struggling um, with their vision or may have print challenges. Let them know about this great service that is out in our community for them. And also, blind lives do matter. And, um, you know, live your life, the life that you want to live. Um, uh, that's what we do as blind citizens. Uh, we strive to bring about equality, opportunity, and security for the blind and bridge the gaps of visible differences throughout our communities so that we can eliminate the 70% unemployment rate for our youth that are coming up. So thank you very much for your time. Join us next week as we continue forth. And if you're a sponsor and want to get involved with Beat Baseball, please uh, contact uh, the numbers on the screen. The National Federation of the Blind, Indiana Monthly Report. For more information, go to nfb-in.org or call 317-205-9226. That's 317-205-9226. The National Federation of the Blind encourages you to live the life you want. <laughs>